Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to unbox a couple of knives that have been sent in to me from C. Reisner, TPK Knives, to check out, share with you guys, then send back to them. Um, before I get started, I want to say thank you to all the channel members, thank you, thank you, and thank you to anyone who stopped in here to check out the knife and EDC content. I appreciate you. Um, you're always welcome here, and I do appreciate you taking the time to check out the channel. If you do like it, if you would hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it would really help me out. So I'm going to take my titanium Amazon Bally Song knife. I want to keep this box so I can send this stuff back. Let's see if that's going to get us... All right, guys, I'm going to do something where I don't dox myself. Hold on. I've done something goofy. I don't know what it is. But, alas... Let's see here. I'm trying to tip this box because I do need to use it. I'm an idiot, guys. I can't. There we go. All right. Check out that. Check out that. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff to check out. Let's see what we got there. All right, guys, we got some cool stuff here to check out. And this is just going to be an unboxing. I'm going to bring you some up close and kind of a little bit more uh, step on this. This right here is a button lock penguin. Let's try something here. With Ultim handles, I believe which will be exclusive from traditional pocket knives. And I will leave a link to traditional pocket knives, my affiliate link, that will also have um, a discount code for you guys. So you've got the collaboration, QSP, traditional pocket knives. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is, uh, this is the Penguin unboxing. If you guys know, I'm going to save y'all a lot of the, uh, the suspense. But as you guys know, or if you don't, I'll share with you. One of my first knives that I picked up when I started collecting knives, probably in the top five, was the, uh, the QSP um, Penguin in denim blue jean micarta liner lock, the OG with D2 steel and thumb studs, and I thought it was just an amazing knife. I didn't give it away until, gosh, late last year. Um, and what we have here is we have a special edition that I really, really like. We've got some couple of special editions, but this is the QSP Penguin. Can you see that blade steel? See what we got here. Mm, nice crisp detent. Nice belt satin S90V blade. Ultim handles. Button lock. Snappy action. Let's see if I can reverse finger flick it. Yep. Guys. That is 
very, very unique. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's a hollow ground blade. Let me see something real quick. It is a hollow. Guys, this is not only an S90V button lock penguin with the flipper tab and or thumb studs just breaking in. As you see, these are the first flicks that hit my finger. I like the, the finger, the flipper tab almost more than the thumb studs. The thumb studs, you've got to kind of push, not straight up, but up and out. But guys, I want to cut with this. Whoa. Guys, I love my QSP Hedgehog. I love the OG Penguin. I love what Austin's doing with his exclusives because they're different. Um, I've not seen this in S90V before, nor have I ever seen it in a hollow grind. But QSP is killing it. That looks absolutely fantastic. I know it'll break in great. I'm going to put it back in here. So I can show you guys what we got next. Could stretch this out across a lot of different unboxings, but we're going to do it just in one. And we're going to make it kind of quick because what we've got next is we've got a lot of boxes with just some different options for you guys to check out. So we've got three more. And these guys are going to be the Jig Titanium and the Penguin Plus, the Penguin Mini, and the Exclusive Hedgehog. So, and I'm going to do full reviews on these guys, but we're just going to look at one of these penguins. Again, another exclusive. Oh man. That looks sick. I'm, as you guys know, I've kind of fallen for, for black. Um, for darked out colors. And this is definitely a darked out color. So this is the Penguin Plus. Which, if I'd kept my other penguin out, this one's going to be a little bit longer. This one's an M390. Has the same flipper tab. Has a frame lock. Holy smokes. This one's flat ground. Whereas, the Ultim button lock is hollow ground. But wow, that action is freaking killer. Very sharp, very slicey, guys. Very nicely done. I love the size of this, where the penguin was a little smaller. Let me go ahead and I'll box that one up prematurely. Because we've got our regular size penguin. We have got our um, mini penguin. And then we've got our penguin plus. And all of these are going to be traditional pocket knives exclusives because of the configurations that we'll point out. And I'll be able to share with you guys even a little better once I learn them a little bit more. But our regular Penguin was a little bit smaller knife. And that's the same size as the OG. That's our original size Penguin, right? So it's a good, uh, I'm going to call it probably a Benchmade size knife. A little bit shorter than the Benchmade. 
where the titanium is a little bit taller in overall handle, not much. That's just because of the design of the handle, I'm sure. But it is definitely thinner in that titanium because you're not dealing with the liners. But you've got that tried and true penguin style, penguin size. And when we say penguin size, I guess that is kind of subjective because this one right here is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, the little guy. Additional pocket knives and a bunch of swag. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm in the safety zone of where I can't buy knives because I am loving these guys. Hold on one second. Let me box that up. Keep all our stuff together. And look at this cute little M390 frame lock chode. Drop shutty is a day as long. Action's every bit as good as these. I've never experienced a frame lock penguin. Again, my only experience with the penguins, I had a, um, my Denimicarta penguin that I had was originally, and then brother uh, Jim sent me a penguin to give away, carbon fiber penguin to give away on a Friday night flicks. My favorite so far, I love the feel of the titanium. The Hologron on the S90V is sick, sick, sick. We've got one more thing to unbox here, guys. And all of these will get their own review because they're all different. May combine the, uh, the two frame lock ping wands. This is going to be a cool one which I'm interested to check out compared to mine, because if I'm not mistaken, this hedgehog, which is an exclusive, is even thinner than my carbon fiber hedgehogs. This is the QSP traditional pocket knives exclusive. Guys, these are still available, and if I'm not mistaken, some of these might even be on sale, but I'll throw a code up down there when I upload this unboxing. Whoops, let me put this stuff back in there. Sorry guys, we had a kitty cat come by. This is the QSP Titanium Hedgehog. One of the, I've got, and when I do the review, I will compare it to my carbon fiber. Hollow ground, this is definitely thinner. An absolute laser beam of a knife. All of these premium knives at not too premium prices. My first slip joint ever was the Ohio River Jack. My second was the OG QSP Hedgehog. So now we've got some traditional pocket knives exclusives. We've got the titanium and jigged frame locks, which I've never experienced in M390, which are absolutely fantastic in terms of snappy detent. They do have flipper tabs and thumb studs, which I don't remember mine having a, a flipper tab, but it might have. And then you've got this S90V hollow ground Ultim. And you've got this beautiful thin hedgehog titanium, jig titanium, which is a traditional pocket knives exclusive. But guys, I can't wait to bring you the reviews on these, the overviews, so to speak. Um, I don't have my old penguins to show you, but I do have a lot of experience with them. And I do have my carbon fiber hedgehog because I carry it all the time. And it is definitely a little bit thicker. 
I love this knife, guys. All of these are beautiful. So you've got quality materials, both traditionals, frame locks, button locks, premium steels, great prices. Check them out. I'm stoked to check them out. I appreciate all you guys stopping by, checking out my knife, my EDC content. I appreciate you more than you know. All I ask is if you would, please, please look out for that guy or gal to your left. Please look out for that guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart and choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.